M0FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. I've been doing lots of videos on the SI4732 receiver, as you can see here. This is the instruction manual for version 2.28 firmware. I'm also, I have also been looking at the LilyGo version, and this has updated firmware by Volos, and I will link in a video to, to that one, slightly different, uh, but overall does the same thing, I feel. Uh, but with this firmware that we're tinkering with now, you actually get a signal meter and you get Wi-Fi. OK, and once you connect to Wi-Fi, you can upload this thing called the EI, EIBI database, which adds the shortwave memory names into this because you have RDS, of course, like BBC and you'll get the names. But with the EI, da EIBI database, you get other names. Just noticing on uh, even on CB here, it says C13E and it couldn't do that without the update. Now, you can only update once you connect to the Wi-Fi and I'm going to make a video. I've made a video showing you how to do that. But effectively, you turn on the Wi-Fi and you type in 10.1.1.1 and you can talk to it and then you can add in your Wi-Fi credentials, your broadband router at home. Once that's done, um, then it's a very simple process of just pressing the, the button, turning to settings. And within that, and um, this isn't about, this video isn't really about that. This video is just to show you a link to the instruction manual. But once you go into that and you're connected, you click update EI, EIBI database and um, it just uploads it automatically really quickly in a few minutes. But the reason for this video is because I've had loads of people asking me, can you um, give us a link to the instruction manual? So here it is, and you've got the main screen, Wi-Fi, RSSI meter, and you can actually, I didn't realize, but you can actually have a black and white interface because on with this one, I'm gonna see if I can do it now, press and go to settings and you go to theme. And I've got theme there, let me show you. You can actually go big, and it does time out, so you press it, and then you start to scroll up and down. Uh, they are purple. Try not to get a glare. Look at that, it's actually trying to tune. Orange, there's the white one. Mm, it's okay, it's not very clear on my one. Uh, I think it's because the screen's a bit dirty. But anyway, um, but I think the default one is the one I like the most, which is the black and white one. And also I've hammered this one a bit. I've had it in pieces, this one. And it's probably needs a good clean as well, I would say. Thanks for watching. But anyway, this is the link in the, for the instruction manual. I just quickly keep scrolling, then we'll end the video. RSSI meter, battery status, band, name, modulation, VHF and FM top center, uh, C bands, table, info panel, frequency panel, FM stations, RDS, or frequency name, right below the frequency, alternative UI. You can choose that where you get this name underneath. Control, direct frequency input, which is where you're basically pressing. When you press the knob, when you're on there, you have to press and hold. It's just come out and turn. Let it do it. Hopefully you can see this. So you press and hold. A line moves right and left. And because of it, see where the line's moving? And then now we can tune the larger increments. And so that's another thing that it does. I've got it in this 3D printed case that I just, I actually did this one myself, but there's so many, so many other cases um, that are coming out now. And I've got a few cases here for the M1K that I've been tinkering with. Look at this for the M1K. I've got a black one, thanks to Richard here and there's a couple of for that one as well yeah right okay so scroll last few paragraphs menu squelch memory step settings menu brightness calibration rds fm region 
scroll direction, zoom menu, which gives you more information about the menu you're in underneath the frequency. There's the Wi-Fi thing, which is really, once you once you've got your head around it, which only takes a few seconds, and that says it to reset receiver settings, current band, fre frequency, favorite stations, blah, blah, blah. Turn off the receiver, press and hold the en encoder, turn on the receiver, release the encoder after the EEPROM resetting message appears. Okay, fair enough. So um, yeah, hit just to let you know, this is the a, a video just for the instruction manual. And I know I made a video saying, get to the point. Well, <laughs> I didn't get to the point, did I? Bye for now.